Donald Trump lost three million in cryptocurrency, and Hester Pierce with the SEC slams the SEC. Man, are the tides turning. So in today's video, I'm going to break down how Donald Trump lost three million, and they're putting it on the news. Are they trying to fudge you out of crypto? And I'm going to show you on the other side how he supported Hester Pierce slamming the SEC. My name is Coach JB. What I work to do is make very complex macro and microeconomic strategies very simple so the normal everyday person can implement them. So what I do is on the left side of the risk pyramid, as things get really risky, like crypto, high risk, high return, I pull profits and I bring it down to the bottom of the risk pyramid. And I like to ensure my wealth. So if you're interested in having a free consultation with my insurance team to understand how I insure my wealth, rule number one is don't lose money. Rule number two is follow rule number one, Warren Buffett. We can set up a free consultation to explain to you exactly how I do that and many other options to protect your family. So in the description of this video, you can set up a free consultation or click my social media platform to set up a free consultation. You can also download my free PDF book uh, that explains everything on the back end of this video. So let's dive right into it. So the FUD is going to start big time. So now you have two sides of the coin. You have the people who are telling you cryptocurrency is the best thing ever. And then you're going to have the media who is going to try to fudge you in or excuse me, fudge you out of crypto. So this is where it's going to get wild. I think we're 10 days away from the Bitcoin halving. Okay. After the Bitcoin halving, you may see a little bit of a move and then you'll see a parabolic on the back end of the year. They're going to bring down interest rates. But right now is the most critical time in human history. The financial system is completely switching. Very, very important. You are seeing a massive shift in consciousness, left versus right. And now within their own organizations, they're going against each other. So Hester Pierce blasts the SEC, rejects SEC's criticism, law decoded. So I'm going to break this down for you guys, okay? Um, right here. So Hester Pierce, uh, we call her the crypto mom, right? So United States Securities Exchange Commission, Commissioner Hester Pierce has taken another swipe at her agency. She's within the agency, criticizing the regulator's guidance on crypto custody while calling for more interactions with the public. They're literally ignoring the public, guys. The SEC is supposed to be here to protect investors, but they're ignoring the public comments. Speaking at an annual speak or SEC speak conference, speaks conference, excuse me, Pierce said that particularly pretentious, pretentious weed had sprung up in the SEC's secret garden of policy guidelines. Oh my gosh, they have a secret garden now. Her comments came in response to the staffed accounting bulletin 12A, which prevents banks from custodying crypto assets on behalf of clients. Like really think about the, the logic in this. So the SEC is trying to protect us from investors or protect us from the cryptocurrency. They approve a Bitcoin ETF. They're in the process of taking comments on proving a Bitcoin or, or Ethereum ETF, but they don't want banks to custody your crypto which one is it like you you want the the centralized system to custody it you don't want them to you want coinbase to do it which one it's it, it is so unbelievably clear that this is all planned out guys this is stalling the system before we switch to a new monetary system okay so let's dive into this right here so trump endorsed sec commissioner's debates financial regulation with sec johnson college dean on march 25th hester pierce the republican commissioner of the u.s securities and exchange commission spoke um, at this conference to exchange the opposing views about regulation on finance industries in the 36th annual lewis durrell memorial lecture appointed by former u.s president donald trump in 2017 Pierce has been aggressively advocating for fewer financial regulations and fighting against the SEC's current Gary Gensler. So within their own organization, Hester Pierce, who's part of the SEC, is literally pushing back on Gary Gensler and his regulations. I mean, they are all over the place. OK, so Trump suggests that he would not crack down on Bitcoin, other cryptocurrencies as president. So Donald Trump suggests that if he were elected president, his administration would not crack down on the use of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies through regulatory authority. The Republican said when he recently launched a lineup, Trump brand, branded speaker, excuse me, I noticed that so many of them were paid for with this new currency. Guys, it's here. The switch is here. We just have to manage through the FUD and stay non-emotional. Okay, so now this type of stuff comes out because there's the polarization, right? There's Trump is supporting crypto and then it's, but wait a minute, Trump lost over 3 million in crypto last month. The MAGA coin down 61%. 
So when the public sees this, they just see down in crypto, right? This is his MAGA coin that he launched down 61%. That's what happens with meme coins, guys. Meme coins go up and they come slamming back down. But these are the headlines that the public sees. So we see that, hey, he's supporting crypto. Him and his, his, um, his crew are not going to mess with it, right? He's supporting Hester Pierce, who he put into office, who's going against Gary Gensler. So this is it, guys. There's a battle between left and right, the shift in consciousness between the left hemisphere and right hemisphere of the brain. And imagine coming back to the middle ground, knowing that you have sovereignty, you have free will, you have the ability to walk, to talk, to think, to take action in the most critical time and shift in human history. And I'll remind you what President Donald Trump said back seven years ago. I love listening to this over and over again. He shared with us, and I believe too as well, we're going to an even playing field. What I think is going to happen is the US is going to start to lose its dominance as a currency. It's not going to collapse. We're going to go into a bag of currencies. It's going to be regulated through a bag of currencies. It's going to operate on blockchain technology. There's going to be the big three that survive, just like the auto boom, just like the dot-com boom. And then you'll have the three big crypto companies that survive. I believe Ripple will become a bank. I believe Coinbase will become a bank. Kraken will become a bank. And then within 10 years, this will all be normal. And you'll forget about all this. You'll forget about all the FUD, all the different things. And there'll be a new wave of 1%. It'll be the new Vanderbilts. It'll be the new Henry Fords. It'll be, and that might be some of you, which is absolutely fantastic. So listen to what he said seven years ago. Uh, as far as uh, the currency devaluations, I've been complaining about that for a long time. And I believe that we will all eventually and probably very much sooner than a lot of people understand or think we will be all at a level playing field because that's the only way it's fair. That's the only way that you can fairly compete in trade and other things. And we will be on that field and we will all be working very hard to do great for our country, but it has to be fair and we will make it fair. I think the United States is going to be an even bigger player than it is right now by a lot when it comes to trade. A lot of that will have to do with our tax policy, which you'll be seeing. Okay, so he talks about the even playing field. Now, what does that mean, right? So the America right now, um, you know, you heard it with the Putin interview, BRICS, Brazil, Russia, into China, South Africa. They brought in Saudi Arabia. Uh, they're growing and rapidly expanding. And they talk about the, the using the dollar as weaponization, right? They're weaponizing the dollar against other countries. So our bad policies, our bad financial management is hurting all the other countries. So right now we're in this crazy transition, right? This crazy transition with the presidential election, climate change narrative, war narrative, social geopolitical narrative, and a financial narrative. I highly recommend you dive into Ray Dalio's changing world order. We're in 15 through 18 right now, okay? So the transition is here. Cryptocurrency bull run is upon us, okay? So for me and my family, what we're doing is in cryptocurrency, we believe it's a very speculative asset without regulation. It's extremely volatile. That's why I talk about the risk pyramid, okay? And I repeat the same things over and over again. This is more for me. So I can remind myself, the more you speak something, the more it gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. There's a risk pyramid. On the left side, as you go up the risk pyramid, you can make more money, but way more risk Okay, a lot of people don't understand how volatile this is. As it goes up in cryptocurrency, as everybody's waiting for the top, I'm exiting on the way up. I use Merlin, the smartest way to track your crypto. You can get 30 days for free. I'm the co-founder and creator of Merlin. Down below, you can set up an exit plan. Our customer service will help you with that. On the left side, as you go up, I'm pulling profits. I'm going down the risk pyramid to the bottom of the risk pyramid, which is insurance-based products. I insure my wealth. The reason why I do that is I follow Warren Buffett style. Number one rule, don't lose money. Number two, follow rule number two. So when I pull my profits, I make sure that my family's money and life is secure, which is very important to me. Insurance is a powerful way for you to preserve, maintain, and pass down wealth. From there, I make decisions. I look at the waves of energy. I look at the new technology. I look at the things coming up. I continue to deepen my businesses and my expansion in business. I continue to uh, get more precious metals and silver, and I'm using Bitcoin as gold. So that's my strategy. And on top of that, I have what's called the Rockefeller style of trust, which is a waterfall system. I have a dynasty trust over all that to protect my family and have it passed down from generation to generation. So I hope this information helps. But remember, guys, take a deep breath. <sighs> You have to be non-emotional about this. If your emotions look like the stock market or the crypto market, you're going to get wrecked. We saw so many people in 2022 
get completely smashed and they've been depressed since 2022. And now you're emotional about it. So we're going to want to number one, recoup your investment. Number two is you, it's going to get really hypey. And then we get out of that fundamental, fundamental thought. So that's why I can't stand the meme coin game. I just can't stand it. I just speak my truth on that because it's just like these influencers are getting people in and out of meme coins. It creates the worst addictive behaviors. It's just like the casino. You're going to win big in one, and then you're going to think you're doing again. So you're going to reinvest in the other, and you're going to lose everything. That is not good, healthy investment behaviors. It's it's really not good. That's why, you know, they put that on there. You know, Trump lost $3 million. He lost it in his meme coin, right? These things have no utility. There's no backing. There's some random person doing it, waiting to rug pull the living crap out of people. And you have to get very, it's just like the casino. You have to get lucky. That's why they have free drinks and all these lights and all these different things, right? So if you went to a, a, a roulette table, you know, which if, if I, if I went to a roulette table and I put down a thousand bucks, if I win 2000, I'm pulling my initial, my initial investment right away. And then I'm on house money. And as I gamble, I pull the chip off, I pull a chip off, I pull a chip off. And then it makes it much more fun because now you're not only on house money, but you're now making money, right? So now you can relax, have a great time. You're not losing all your money. So it's just really important to not do things that create addictive behaviors, uh, to build a fundamental strategy and follow your strategy. Don't get fudded in and out by any influencer. You know, some people are saying Kathy Wood says it's going to go to 2.8 million. Make sure what do you think it's going to go to? What would help your family get secure? What is your game plan to secure your wealth? Because getting a bunch of money in a short amount of time, if you've never had it, doesn't make you rich. If you don't have good spending habits now, if you don't understand financial literacy or financial discipline, you're going to be in the exact same position with just a lot more bills. So I love you guys. I appreciate you very, very much. Everything you need in the description of this video down below, just click the description or go to my social media platform, click the link. You'll see all the amazing free content there. And um, I think that's all I got for you guys. Warriors, rise, get your shit together. Love you guys.